Hello YouTube. One of the first things, uh, well, welcome to episode 18. Sorry, perhaps I was doing something stupid. Uh, wow, it still feels like it's doing something stupid. Uh, but one of the first things I want to get to this morning is I need to upgrade this chest. So let's see, we'll go ahead and just upgrade it to a gold. I was just looking up the recipe there while I was off camera. So it's getting a little full. There we go, now plenty more space. Uh, let's go in and check on this guy. I refilled it not long ago. Let's see how he's doing. It's still burning faster than we're getting, but we're almost at 500. Once it hits 500, it should slow down and we should start getting a surplus. If not, there's a little technique I know to do to ensure that we do. Uh, so what are we getting to this episode? Well, let's find out. Okay, so one of the first things I want to get to is get some more uh, magma cream. Uh, I've been trying to, while I was mining, find slimes, get it that way. Haven't been successful. So I'm actually going to venture off into the nether and see what we can find as far as that. Okay, so let's... Uh, just gonna take a look around, gather up some of the soul sand too while I'm here. Cause I need a bit more of that. Been using a good bit in my research. Which, uh, let me show you guys here. So far in the Thumbcraft research, I've gotten up to the unified thumbic field theory. That one takes a lot. Just, uh, and this allows me to upgrade my little thing here. The one of the Abdep, which uh, I may go ahead and do for you guys here in just a moment. Uh, so let me go ahead and find some more uh, magma creams and be back in just a moment. Okay, so just got back uh, hunting a few and then came back and those, uh, actually found a kind of rather big one in my base here. Uh, so killed him. I uh, got a Looks like I got a couple things off of them. Uh, so I've gotten 12 total. You have no idea how many I've actually killed. Uh, actually, my sword broke. Had to make a new one, and I actually enchanted it. That's why I still only have 10 levels. I uh, used a level 4 enchant, and only got sharpness 1. Okay, so we have these. Oh, I actually had another one here. Now, for the... Blast furnace. We're gonna need another brick and soul sand. Oh, luckily I did pick up a good bit of soul sand while I was out fighting. So let's see. Now we need another brick, which I don't seem to have enough of. But there's a way to get around that. Gonna be kind of slow. Uh, three, yeah, three nether rack will compress into nether brick and just about done there we go we get one <laughs> one nether brick okay that's gonna take a while uh, yeah let's not do that I got an easier way And the reason I'm doing this, uh, where's my little thing? It's because I really need to start working on that still to, you know, better my steam production. So I'm just going to run out over here and grab me a butt ton of this nether brick that's already here. and won't take a minute and a half to gather just one. Well, I don't want the whole structure to fall on me, so I like to kind of keep things a little realistic. Don't want to completely take out the whole bottoms, and then it's just like a floating pillar, which is just kind of stupid. Okay, 
in my opinion at least. Alright, so I think I have enough here. I'll meet you guys back at base. Okay, so we should definitely have enough now. And I did something backwards. There we go. Alright, so I'll get 12 more. And let's go ahead and put this stuff in. And see how many more we need. So I did look it up. It is 3x3x4. Three by three by uh, so this is the size that we'll need. I'll need a little bit more. Really? I need two more. So, uh, the calculations for this, you will need 36 nether bricks, 36 soul sand, and 9 magma creams to make one blast furnace. Which I could not make another one if I wanted to. Almost! I'm just missing three magma cream. And there we go. Multi block structure. And let's go grab some cold coke and some iron. So, this thing is very picky. It will take either cold coke or um, charcoal. Not coal, but charcoal. Uh, with the coal coke, it will use one coal coke per iron. I believe with the charcoal, it's maybe about two or four. So you'll get about half a stack or a quarter of a stack. Okay, so remember the last time we left this, uh, I was still having problems with it. Well, as far as keeping up. Well, uh, it looks to be keeping up just fine now. We're at 495, so we're almost at maximum, and it looks like we're keeping up pretty well. Uh, it hasn't even fully gone through this first stack, and you see it's starting to get a little surplus. That should fill up, and then all the extras would go in here. Yeah, it, it's keeping up just fine now. Yep, see, there it's starting to build up. Alright, so that's good. Now we just need to work on our steel so we can start making those industrial steam engines. And this thing's a little bit slow. See, it's only made one, and it's probably been about a, two minutes, maybe, if that. Uh, about a minute or so per. So let's go ahead and get some, started on something else this episode. Okay, so real quick. Before we really get into what I'm going to do this episode, I want to make one more machine uh, called the sawmill. I've actually been meaning to make this. Uh, just really didn't find the time or the need. But I'm needing a lot of wood now uh, for a structure I'm going to build. So that's why I'm needing, you know, the wood. Alright, so let's see. And this thing's pretty neat. Instead of getting four wood, I believe you will get six. And I need a machine frame, so I'll need some more gold. So let me gather the stuff up, and I'll be right back. Okay, so I think I have everything. Let's, uh... No, need an axe. I believe it was wood. No, we need to make... This thing... So I don't have any iron on me. Jesus. Okay, I have to get in my iron. We got our machine frame. Leave us wood. The axe. And copper. Yes, that gets us the sawmill. I already made a little spot for him over here, so I'm just going to plop him down. It's going to fill up with energy. Now this thing has a little byproduct. So let me grab some wood and we'll show you guys how it works. Okay, so pretty much chopped down my whole forest and replanted everything. Got just over a stack of wood. So let's show you guys how the sawmill works. So, it does require power, obviously. 
Uh, you put one in, it's going to saw it, and you get six wood instead of four, and you also get the sawdust, uh, which is used for something. Press sawdust. What is that used for? Okay, you smelt compressed sawdust and you get charcoal. So that's not bad. So that's just a little byproduct there. So I'm just going to smelt some of this down. Now I want to keep some of this because it's for decorative purposes. Uh, so I'll be right back once my wood is up. Okay, so got a little over two stacks. Uh, actually, going to sleep through this night and then find a nice spot to build this. So, as you can see, I absolutely decimated this land. This is where we're going to build our next structure. Uh, we're going to use this uh, wood to build it. Uh, so, let me go ahead and get the base of this set out how I want and be right back. Okay, so this is what I got so far. Uh, ran out of, obviously, wood. Uh, so, I'm going to come back when I get some more. And when I have this finished up. I'm also going to work on covering the... Uh, roof in the boiler room or I like to call it the power plant okay so I just got a whole bunch of the sawdust so we're going to turn it into compressed sawdust uh, I've never actually done this so I kind of want to see how it works oh that's cool this produces charcoal nice I think I'll make some torches out of it Ooh, let's get back to our build. Okay, just getting the finishing touches on this. I still need to do the roof. I want to do that completely out of glass. And, well, the glass fevers. And there's a reason for that. Uh, but let's go ahead and light this place up some. So let me grab a couple things and we'll be right back. I think we're just about ready to get this on the road. Okay, so just popping into my miscellaneous mod chest and we're going to go ahead and grab our apiary. That's right, we're getting in the bees. Uh, grab the few frames that we have here. Our forest queen. Uh, let's just grab the rest of any bee stuff that we have. Ah, uh, let's see. Anything else? No. But we have a few over here. Mainly rocky drones, and those are pretty cool. Alright, so I am going to make a gold chest just for now, just to kind of store stuff. Oh. Guess I gotta make the chest first. Mm, guess that's to be an iron chest. Okay, I thought I just grabbed a whole bunch of iron. Oh, Jesus, I'm keeping a whole stack over here. That's exactly what happened last time. I did not put it in this inventory. Alright, so gold chest. Let's go... Let's make one more thing that I'll need. Uh, which I'll need to have some string, because I don't have any wool. Uh, so let me go harvest those real quick. Yeah, I've been using a lot of string in my research. That's why I'm very low. And these guys weren't finished growing. Alright, that should be enough string. Let's sleep through the night here. Okay, so we're going to need... Oh crap, I actually didn't need that many. I forget I only needed one piece of wool. Uh, sometimes I forget what I'm making as I'm making it. 
Okay, so we're just going to put a sticks and a little Y pattern here and put one wool. That's going to give us our scoop. Now, what's the scoop do? Well, we got a very good example over here. Uh, well, we already know it's going to have to do with bees. So, here we go. That's a marble bee. Uh, we got the marble bee and drone. Let's go ahead and set a few things over here. Just put my bees in frames. Uh, the apiary, I'm going to make, want to make a couple more of these, but what I'm actually going to do, uh, instead of spending all my resources and trying to get a couple, uh, those few villages that are nearby, yeah, I'm going to go steal theirs. Uh, so let's see, just want to place it right there, and I'm going to put my forest queen in here. Okay, so I'm going to let her, uh, actually it's going to give me an error here real quick unless there's some nearby. These are actually going to need flowers, so let's step out here, grab a quick flower. We'll just place them right there, just to make sure. Okay, so that's going to take a minute. I know there are, let's see, we want proven frames. Impregnate frames. I'm just going to throw these guys on here. Uh, there are a couple other Uh, B types. So let me run around and see if I can find any. Uh, well, in the world gen, you can find your meadows, your forest, which they spawn in exactly what they stated. And I got a little glitch going on here. Hmm, okay, I'll fix. And they spawn exactly like they say. Uh, forest will spawn in the forest. Meadows will spawn in the meadows. Uh, desert bee will spawn in the desert which is kind of where I'm heading to now by accident. Uh, what others? Uh, we have extra bees installed. So there's some water bees, marshy bees, uh, marble bees that you just saw, the rocky bees also. And I actually need to head home. I need food. Oh, good. Good lordy. Come here. I want your beef. All right, let me get back home and get some food. Okay, now that's better. Uh, so yes, about bees. Yeah, uh, extra beads as all kinds of bees. There's even a nether bee. I'm sure you've seen the hive while running around while we were running around in the nether. Uh, so just gonna try and find me. I want to find a couple mundane bees, or, which are like the generic bees, like forest meadows. Uh, those are our base starting so I want to find a couple of those not too concerned with the meadows or the marbled beads right here uh, maybe we could even find a snowy bee alright so here's the desert here Oh, almost made it I need to kinda work on something so I don't have to sprint all the time which I'm kinda working towards which is in Thalmcraft which is gonna be pretty nice uh, and kind of a temporary thing until we get something better. I like cow beef better. Okay, so let me go ahead and see if we can find some bees here. Oh, well, just turned a second and there's a snowy bee. So we'll go ahead and gather that up. They're kind of hard to come by, uh, even in snow biomes or they're called wintry bees now. I guess uh, Singer changed it. Alright, so let's find us a desert bee. Oh, there's one right across the valley there. Here we go. And this should be the modest. Yep. Alright, so let's head back home. Ah, love the portal gun. Uh, actually, I need to, I uh, didn't see any meadows that way, so I'm going to check around and see if I can find any meadow bees. bees. Be right back. Yeah, right behind my house here. Here's one. Hmm. 
Hoping I could find a couple more. Oh, there's another one over there. Perfect. I uh, would like to get a couple forest, a couple more forest ones also. Maybe w at least one more forest. Uh, let me hunt around here and see if I can find one. Okay, so I just ran across this appetite. Appetite, appetite. It's from forestry, used in some of the automated farms. Uh, the singer changed the way it works. And oh my, I just... It used to be kind of sporadic all over the place and just a little bit here and there. Uh, this was a giant vein. Uh, one, two, three, almost four stacks of the stuff uh, in one go. That was a lot. So I just wanted to show you guys that. Oh, I think we found a marshy bee right here. Let's see. Yep, marshy. Uh, still no luck finding another uh, forest princess, which oh, I really need. I want to have at least two of those. I mean, we may be able to get away with just one, but I seriously doubt it. So let me go grab that other meadows. And, well, we can kind of figure out what to do from there. We may may be able to use some of the extra B ones, uh, like the marshy and the marbled, since I did see a, quite a few marbled in order to get what we want. So let me go ahead and get this bee, sleep through the night, and we'll go ahead and rob some apiaries. Oh my. Uh, what are they up to? Well, hello there, Mr. Enderman. Are you just kind of hanging out there? Make sure you're not distracting me so a creeper gets up on me. Creepers seem to be my mortal enemies. And so are skeletons. Alright, be right back. Okay, so just... Oh, that's weird. Okay, so just portal gun my way over here. And Fraps is being stupid. I don't know, just randomly it'll stay at like 20 FPS while I'm recording. And that's no good. Hey, where did these marshy ones come from? Tropical. Nice, but it poisoned me. Ah! So got the apiaries. Uh, the stick, yay, it's stuck. Oh wow, that hurts. Hang on. Yeah, uh, certain bees, like the tropical bees, they poison. Uh, in case you did not know that, and they hurt. Okay, so just gonna stick these in here. Now we got two more apiaries. I'm uh, just gonna put these guys side by side. And oh, I guess that one was bred with the guy there. So we'll go ahead and just breed him like that. I'm gonna go ahead and do a full bred meadows drone here. And I guess I will do. Marbled. Can't really use these because I don't have the flowers that I need for them yet. And get rid of some of these untreated frames. Uh, the frames, the they kind of make them last longer, produce more stuff. Uh, the proven f impregnated frames will allow them to produce more, which we also kind of want. And the proven frames will last, or the same as impregnated, but they last a lot longer. Uh, we actually want these guys here. Uh, we'll put the untreated here, and just leave this guy be. Uh, there's a few things we're going to have to build in order to really get kicking off with this. I believe I have the resources now. Let's see. Let me go steal those, uh, check the other village there for apiaries, and then we'll come back and build the few things that we're going to need for this. 
Okay guys, I didn't really explain bees that much, so I want to kind of backtrack and go over them a little bit. Uh, I've already gone over the different kinds of bees. Now, with our mundane bees, uh, whenever you break a hive, you get a queen and a drone. Uh, you have to breed a princess, well I said queen, I meant a princess, a princess with a drone and you'll get the queen. Uh, the queen will retain all the properties of the princess. And when you combine the two, like this, its offspring will have a chance to mutate. Uh, as you can see, it says uncommon. Well, we have to build an analyzer to analyze the bees to figure out what different properties they have, uh, which is going to take a few items. Uh, we're going to need to build a carpenter, and then we're going to need to build a centrifuge uh, to try uh, break down these honeycombs into honeydew and honey drops and honey and all kinds of good stuff. Now bees are a long process um, as you can see it takes a long time there are frames to help uh, especially with breeding as far as the death because we're not when we're trying to breed we're not really caring what they produce we just want them to die quickly and there's frames to help with that. Uh, they can do all kinds of different things. They'll pollinate the ground and you'll start seeing flowers grow here. If you have uh, different kinds of trees within the vicinity, they'll actually uh, crossbreed the trees. And then you can start growing different types of trees. You can get cherries, walnuts, and those are all, all help with different things, which is why I'm trying to get into the bees now and early. Uh, I'll try and go over them a little bit. They it is very complicated uh, if you don't know if you're brand new to bees I advise uh, looking at the wiki it really takes practice time getting used to the different bees how to breed certain bees uh, like the f main bee uh, that you're going to need to breed off of which you can't do much with the meadows and the forest but if you breed the two two mundane bees uh, which means world generation bees, I believe that also includes bees from uh, extra bees, you'll get, bringing those two together, you'll get a common. Commons are very important. Uh, they branch off into different branches. You have common, demonic, sinister. Uh, I mean, the list is just incredibly long. You have your industrious bees, imperial. Um, I just can't even think of all the different bees and with extra bees added uh, you can effectively use bees to generate anything you want uh, diamonds emeralds oil uh, it, it's crazy stone you can uh, there's lapis bees iron you can do copper tin lead uh, it, it's just crazy so I'm gonna go ahead and get the f a few things gathered and we'll go ahead and start working on those machines. Okay, so first thing, we're going to need to get some of this bronze. Okay, uh, 16 should do for now. And my fraps is acting incredibly stupid. Okay, uh, so you want to take 8 bronze and get yourself a sturdy machine. I'll line the sides with bronze and glass on the top or bottom. So I cooked up some glass here. And this is going to give us a carpenter. Nice. Uh, now this thing does require some power. So I actually want to move this guy. Place him there. And there's a few other things that this is going to require as well. And wow, this is getting very tight. Uh, so I think on the other side of here, I want to build a little, small little water tank. Okay, uh, our first stack of still is done. So I'm going to go ahead and refill that real quick while I'm gathering some stuff. Okay, so I'm going to need... make some more 
of the water blocks. Forget what the recipe is. Uh, smooth stone. So, okay. So I think I got everything I need. Um, let's see. We need to go back just one. Just kind of lining everything out here. For a water block, another valve. That should be okay. That should. Yeah, there we go. All right. Uh, so I need this guy. Should be able to just flow in that way. Nope. Need a lever. I'll just make one here real quick instead of getting into my bag. Nope, nope, wrong thing. Alright, and this guy's going to fill up with water. So let's close this up, clean up my inventory, and be right back. Okay, so what do we need the carpenter for? Well, that's pretty simple. We need it for a bealizer. You can also get one in block form, but I like the inventory one. It's going to require some diamond, glass panes, uh, redstone, some tin. So we have one, two, three, four. Grab some of that. Uh, let's go grab a diamond and some tin. Oh, loving that we have a good supply of diamonds right now. Alright, so it's the diamond. And it's doing a, a shadow recipe here. I believe it was like this. Yeah, there we go. And then it's going to start producing it. So we'll come back when it's done. It does require water, uh, as you can see in the recipe here. See, it'll tell you it needs water. Amount, it needs two buckets worth. And just about done. There we go. All done. So I'll leave this stuff in here for now. Alright, so how does the bealizer work? Well, you gotta give it honeydew. And give it a bee. And it'll tell you everything there is to know about that bee. Uh, we don't have any honeydew. So to get that, we need to build a... Centrifuge which is copper and a sturdy casing. Uh, so we can actually make that real quick. Remember sturdy casing, uh, 310, one copper. No, well not sturdy casing, I meant for the bronze. It's three copper, 110. Why do I always mess that up? Okay, so we got our copper. Let me go grab my glass. Okay, so we got our glass. I only need one piece there. And we have the centrifuge. Uh, actually, going to want this guy over here. So I'm actually going to build a second energy tesseract. So that way we can start supplying power over to machines over here. I want this guy right here. Yeah. These guys are done, so let's go ahead and get those because I want to get a good bit of honeycomb. Uh, oh, we got a common princess but no common drone, so I'll keep breeding these guys and moving these out the way so that way they have room. And this is just temporary for my bees for now. Uh, I do have something in the future that will help. Okay guys, so we've gone past Toad Mark. Uh, hang on. Yeah, Fraps just randomly wants to go to 20 FPS and just stick there. Okay, well I think I fixed it. Not too sure what's causing the issue there. Uh, yeah, Fraps will just want to record at 20 even though I have it set much higher than that. Uh, it's quite annoying. That's where all the stuttering comes from, and that's why you kind of see me cut in the middle of talking and then pick back up. Uh, 
so yeah, we'll come back next episode. We'll, we'll go ahead and hook up power to our uh, new centrifuge here and start working on different things, different ways to breed these guys. Uh, and in order to get set up with frames, we're actually going to need seed oil. Uh, so we'll come next episode, build a squeezer. Uh, we'll use seeds that we have, and I'm going to have to expand this farm. I um, want to move it, need to expand it, because I need seeds from here, and there's a few other seeds that we can use for seed oil. Not very many. And what's he doing? Uh, and we'll also... By then, we should have two stacks of steel, which we'll get working on making... Uh, additional these and I'll go ahead and use these for now while I'm building additional because it's going to be one of those things instead of building all nine at once I'll build one two three at a time and then just add on to this system and see how much it can take with these I don't I think only nine of the industrial but it may be able to handle a couple more of these so we'll see how that goes uh, and this guy is keeping up nicely, just like we thought it would. You can see how much slower it's burning now. It's burning as if it was one piece of coal while it was entirely going through. Uh, so we're starting to get a surplus over here, which is nice in case something happens and the chunk isn't loaded. We can easily just toss some in. Uh, so we'll come back in episode, I believe, I want to say 19. Uh, I'm completely lost track right now uh, and finish up and continue with the bee stuff and work on more cool things uh, so you guys have a great day